my car is still leaking trans or gear oil, whatever you guys want to call it. If any of you guys have any ideas as to why this is happening, please let me know. Uh, we're also filming on the GoPro right now. It definitely drips from like the shifter area. So I'm gonna go ahead and refill it. I haven't done it in a while. It probably needs at least like half a quart. I mean, this is super annoying. So we'll see, you know, another thing is we, we want to go to the drag strip, obviously. Not with this thing, or the 240, but we can't take it there when it has a leak. You know what I mean? Like that's a no go. Um, I'll get kicked off immediately. And I don't want to be that guy. So we'll fix it and then we'll, we'll get her good. I've shown you guys once already, but hopefully you guys can even make this out. Let me get the light in here. Um, it's all wet on top. You know what I'm saying? But then if I look down at the drive shaft, sorry, this is just probably not the best scenario but it's all dry like down there on the yoke and like all the allen the heads are filled with oil so if you guys have ideas please send them my way all right with that done next thing i want to kind of focus on for today at least for a little bit is my whole front bumper fitment here it's just not lining up whatsoever and it's very uneven so i'm going to see what i can do with this i might even try to make some brackets for my lights because they wobble around and then they don't sit flush so all right so now i figured i'd show you guys what we got going on under here now since i'm not retaining obviously the factory bracketry uh because of the front mount um my my bumper actually never really had any support up top so uh made just like these little these rods up here just braced off the intercooler just to prop it up a little bit so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is take a washer shim space or whatever you want to call it off this side that i put on drop that side down a hair, add it to this side, pump this side up a hair, and then from there, that'll have the leveling straight, and then from there, I guess we kind of figure out how to get everything else to line up, but that's gonna be the first step. And um, by the way, G2 Carbon guys, follow them on Instagram, they made this epic, epic cooling panel for this car, they make an S13, S14, hit them up, they got different color carbon weaves, it's all legit, made in the USA, just really, really nice stuff, and it actually is really, really effective. All right, so I basically just found a little L bracket, and we're using this as our headlight bracket to kind of support everything. Now I just gave it a little twist. I'll show you guys what it looks like all mocked up. So this is gonna, we're gonna utilize this hole right here. Pop it underneath, bolt that right in there. Swing it in, and then that's gonna line up pretty nice with that guy right here. Now we will kind of adjust it, and as long as this is not moving around, this whole motor, that's all we're looking for. So I'll get this one installed, make one for this side, we're looking really good. So, And I'm not really worried about like how pretty they look because it's all going to be covered by the carbon fiber cooling panel, so we're good. Alright, well there's like play there, but that's just, it's just in like the joint. All right, so we got both sides complete. Boom, boom. Final test here. We'll go ahead and get these lights up. Before they used to just you should you used to be able to have like maybe a quarter inch of play. Oh, what the hell! All right, well that failed. Um, that's better. I think like, so. I guess that little joint down in here, ye old plastic fellow right there. So, all right, well, I, okay, love doing stuff for nothing, you know. So going back to my hood here, still gap, definitely more so even. Um, however, I can push that down, it lines up really flush with it. Um, now, I already did mess with the hood latch, like I dropped it as far down as it could go. That's not an issue. I think the problem that's holding me up is my intercooler has a little tab that's mounted onto the uh, upper support here and I feel like that is probably popping it up and holding it up therefore not allowing me to get that full I want that on there don't need these in here we're going out to check out the late night car scene here in Rochester New York should be an awesome time a lot of sweet cars actually around the area so it's gonna be fun but first she needs some fuel. Let's go juice her up. Oh. Oh, man, that's 
That's just good, man. Damn, damn little trees, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be nice all this week, so expect a lot of sweet content, guys. A lot of content. Two sixty-five for a premium. Not bad,
Just big single, kind of just bolt on. <laughs> that one I yeah, just two. RB20, RB two liter, yeah. With, uh, what turbo is it? Uh, 55 58 precision. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what she puts down to the wheels? Oh, yeah. Really? High threes, in my guess. Definitely, because this yeah, makes 380 to the wheel. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy with it. Yeah, she's fun, man. What yeah. dyno did you have it on? Uh, dyno jet. Dyno jet? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure, man. Pleasure. Oh, that was yeah, fun as hell, man. We'll cruise more. Yo, For sure, man. Yeah. Footage, yeah, dude. Yeah, it sounds crazy, yeah. I thought it was you said it was E85? Yep. E85, yep. yep. you said? Yeah, E85, full bolt on, stock turbo. I think he makes it. Probably, I would say four. It has yeah. to be in the fours, he man. Played. It's not windy enough though. Okay. Just be aware. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah. Well, imagine that. Yet again, a night that was supposed to be absolutely cherry. Rain. Perfect. We're gonna wait it out. Well, there you guys have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Um, a little bit of a background on that Subaru. Uh, 23 pounds of boost, E85, I think you guys already heard me talk about this in the video, but I think it was pretty damn quick. Uh, I probably could have brake boosted a little bit, I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking about that, uh, <laughs> but I don't know, it was it was super, super close, so he's got to be making pretty much the same, probably a little bit more actually, probably about 400 wheel I would assume, but it was a super good race, super cool dude, I'm sure we'll meet up back with him on the streets again, but uh, for this one, if you guys enjoyed it and want to see more of these style of videos, please hit that thumbs up button. Everything was filmed in Mexico, by the way. Just want to let you guys know, all in Mexico. That's one part. I thought I had the GoPro filming, but the first run we were going to do with the Evo. Oh, by the way, the E, the guy with the Evo. He's my buddy, so um, it's all it's all fun and games, you know what I mean? Like, it's nothing personal. It's nothing serious. His car had a little bit of a boost leak, and um, it was it was a stock it was a stock Evo. So I just wanted to toss that out there before everyone starts flaming the Evo. <laughs> Our performed great. Only thing I kind of need still is just like an oil cooler and maybe even just a better fan setup. Uh, maybe you get like a, fr a fan shroud made up and we'll kind of go from there. Um, the the mo like the most important thing is the oil cooler, which I actually just ordered one because. It's just, you know, and I'll get a little fan on the back of it. So it'll be good. I'm going to do like some air ducting stuff in the bumper for the intake. There's a lot of stuff coming for this car. So make sure you guys stay tuned. It's going to be super, super exciting this year. Yeah. Like I said, hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.